Hi guys, in this video I'm talking about how to look on the bright side during COVID-19 and I'm giving you some tips and I hope it may help someone out there going through anxiety, depression. So stay tuned, coming straight up. I'm going to talk about it. Okay, see you then. guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel and you know what if you're first time I appreciate you coming back and if you are new here please hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you won't miss out on none of my videos um like I said earlier today we're going to talk about um looking on the bright side the bright side of what's going on with this COVID-19 and we're being confined in the house and stuff and some of us probably have an anxiety depression and you also feel like you're confined. So let's go ahead and just talk about some of the ways that you can look on the bright side of this uh, trial and time, you know. Um, so first thing I want to talk about is anxiety. You know, your panic attacks. You know, you may feel like you, you know, you a lot of anxiety coming on. You don't know what to do with yourself. You can't stay in the house and stuff like that. So another good thing to do, guys, just think about exercising. Exercising. Uh, can relieve a lot of anxiety you know maybe go outside and walk or something or or do something just just some type of exercise or you know jog around the block or whatever whatever you can do just make sure you go and exercise and get some sun and also sleep a lot of us probably losing our sleep over all this but you know losing a lot of sleep is not going to help us guys it's not going to help us we need our sleep seven hours at least sleep um, getting rest so we can be focused in our mind and have a good clear mind you know what's going on today and stuff so um, also take deep breaths you, know, you want to try to take deep breaths when you have an anxiety and I'm not talking like <sighs> a lot of people think that's deep breath but no deep breaths when you go like this <sighs> and you made it out and you know, you try to want to do that like three times, try to do it three times and you'll be amazed how much stress and anxiety that will relieve, relieve just by doing those breaths, you know, taking those deep breaths. It really helps. I, I do that quite a bit. So I know that really helps with deep breaths. And so um, you want to try to cook some meals, try to cook meals at home, some good old healthy meals, soups or something like that, or something that can last. And if you have children, do it with your kids. Uh, making soups and stuff and cooking a good meal that also help with anxiety and all of this stress that's going on here today and then alcohol limit your alcohol consumptions um a lot of times alcohol and caffeine can aggravate anxiety and it can trigger our uh, panic attacks it can trigger the panic attacks so Try to, you know, do these things, you know, it may seem like, you know, oh, this may not help, but I tried some of this and it really helped, you know, like the exercising and definitely sleep, you know, try to get some sleep. And if you haven't seen, if you can't sleep, I did put a video up about how to sleep or how sleeping helps and type of techniques you can do with sleep is on one of my videos. So go ahead and check it out. Um, so um, depression, a lot of us probably feel like we are depressed during this time of COVID-19. So looking on the bright side, you want to, uh, you know, look at comedy movies, look up stand-up comedy, you know, that's really good. You know, I look at a lot of comedy movies and just laugh. Laughing, laughing can really help you uh, release the uh, depression during this time too. Laughing, look at 
comedy movies or something. Um, meditate. Meditation is a very good thing. I do that all the time, meditating at least once a day. I just sit, you know, in my comfortable place, my quiet place, and I just, just give my brain a break. And I did a video on meditation too, so go look back at some of my videos and see about the meditation videos, how important it is with, to the brain. Um, so yeah, that's good. And you just go outside and get some sun, get the sun. Sometimes when you go outside and get sun, it just helps you when you come back inside. You pretty much feel like a whole new person. And then pray. Pray during these hard times. You know, prayer is always good. Praying is always good. It always helps, guys. Make sure you pray and read. And um, you read and, you know, read amusing, happy books. Happy novels. All of that's good, too. And I'm not too much of a fan of reading, but I know a lot of people, you guys do read. Reading does help kind of take your way into that fantasy lane, you know, uh, fantasy um, world. So reading is very good. You're sitting down, curling up with that good old cozy book. It's very, very good. So you may uh, feel like you're confined inside. You can't go out. A lot of us feel like we're just confined. You can't go to stores and be yourself. You can't go to movies. You can't hardly do nothing. You just feel confined. So looking on the bright side of it, um, go outside, walk, get some sun. You know, take a drive. Take a drive, you know. Drive around, listen to your music, you know. Be jamming and I do that. I get in the car and I be listening to my music and I'm just jamming and driving. That really helps a, a lot too. And value your family uh, through this time. Have fun. Value your family. Be creative with your family. You know, do things together. Uh, bond more with your family. And this time we can bond more because pretty much we can find nothing else to do. So we can spend this time bonding with your family and stuff and, and you know, get into get into the uh, deeper side and you know and a lot of times we do a lot of work and one spouse is working the other one is home so now we all home so you know just spend this time bonding with your family and have group sessions you know that's good too like if you have a group session at home you all get in a group and just just go around and say how do you feel about COVID-19 you know how do you feel what are your anxiety you know stuff like that that's good to do I do that sometimes, you know, just go around and just ask, you know, family, how do you feel about COVID-19? And you'd be amazed, especially with the little ones, what they may say. <laughs> and then, you know, you can also shed some good light on them. And, you know, and also, too, it's good to just, just ask them how they feel. You'd be amazed what they say. And, um, you know, and share how... Share how COVID-19, you know, is doing, how it will kind of uh, impact and be how on your family and how you guys doing and how you can get out of that, you know? So just learn how to just be happy with your family. This is the time. This is the time to bond and be happy, guys. All right? So um, if you're bored, there's another thing, bored. A lot of people feel like they're just bored. And um, if you're bored, bored, so just look on the bright side of being bored. Um, take a trade. Like me, I, you know, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> you probably see me playing my guitar, the organ, and all that kind of stuff. And also doing uh, courses, and I'm just, and I'm just, I'm just as happy as I can be, even though that you know this is all going around, you know. But I find happiness within myself, and the ones that are around me, you know. I try to help them be happy too. So take a trade. That's a good thing to do. Take a trade during this COVID-19. Um, online courses um, can enhance your life too. Um, learn to uh, learn how to play an instrument. Maybe it's an instrument that you guys wanted to play a long time ago. You never had a chance to do it. Learn how to play an instrument. Like I wanted to play the guitar. And, and I'm doing quite well. So one of these days... Hopefully soon, I can come on and play a tune for you guys. I like that. Hope you guys like it too. Um, and learn a new language. Learn a new language. Learn a new language is also very good um, to kind of get your mind away and not being bored. You know, spend this time doing something creative, something that you have not done before. 
And um, the borderline, guys, you have to, the borderline is that you have to be grateful for your food, your family, your friends, and be grateful that you are still alive. That's pretty much the borderline. Be grateful that you have food, be grateful that you have shelter, be grateful, grateful that you have friends, and grateful that you are alive. And this is a tough one right here, you know. Um, losing loved ones. A lot of us have lost a lot of loved ones too. You know, this is just it's a tough one. And you know, my heart goes out to all the ones, all of you guys who have lost a loved one during this COVID-19. You know, so I, 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 I can say, you know, how much I stress my empathy and stuff and condolence. So, yeah, but this is a tough one. So, also, looking on the bright side, you know, you know, I know, let me go back. I know you guys, some of you didn't have a chance to say goodbye, not even hold their hand, you know, not even um, just hug them and just be with them to, through this last days. But there is a bright side that you can look over to by changing your perspective. And I hope this will help someone. There is a bright side. Um, so the bright side is you will always, always have memories. You will always have memories of your loved ones. No one can take that away from you. You will always have memories. Um, you will always have pictures, videos, um, all the good times that you guys share together. Nobody can take that away from you in your mind. You will always have those images. So I hope that helped with some of you guys who have lost loved ones. And um, yeah, it's just really sad and, and sad times that we're going through, especially with this bad beast uh, pandemic that's going on. So you can always have those memories in your mind and I hope that will help someone. And you know, if you lost someone, then you can think about all the good times that you did have, you know, before all of this happened. And I hope that helped. So do what's right, be safe, um, protect yourself and your family and your friends. And guys, we are all in this together. I know you've heard that many times, but we are all in this together. And I feel like that too. We're all in this together because we all trying to do our part. We're all trying to, well, most of us trying to do our part. But, you know, the ones that are doing their part, you know, I'm very grateful. And, you know, you should be grateful too that, you know, we're getting a hold on this thing, you know, that, you know, is coming down, COVID-19. So... It's the, definitely the numbers are going down. So, want you to remember too that this will pass. These sorrows, these bad times will pass. It definitely will pass. And just still like, you know, try to be creative and try to do the best you can through this. And just look on the bright side of it. Look on the bright side, be creative. Do things that make you happy. Spend time with your family. At this time, we can always you know, share and do things with our family and bond, which a lot of times we didn't get a chance to do that. Now we do. We do. So we don't have to miss out, you know, of being with our family. Like I said, the ones who have lost loved ones during this uh, time, my heart goes out to you. Condolences. And, um, yes, we will get through this. We all will get through this together. Definitely will. And remember this. This shall pass. It shall pass, guys. Okay? Thank you for tuning in. I said, please uh, subscribe. Thumbs up. Appreciate that. And thank you for coming back. And I'll see you next week, okay? Have a blessed week. Peace out. Bye.